welcome this is the energy vibration lesson for the Pisces Sun Moon and rising it is the ears the first week of September 2017 and the week begins from the fourth until the 10th this is the week of judgment it is the week of judgment for you Pisces whatever is happening it is the week of judgment um, a situation that is happening in your life with this is the week of judgment so this is going to be um, a week of uh, a situation with your lover uh, organization and this sort of a thing so it's a week of judgment information will be coming into you but um, the zodiac energy is the energy of the hurt and you have the the a strong foundation you have an extremely strong foundation so whatever is happening to you Pisces out there this week you have a very good strong foundation whatever is coming at you you can um, um, overcome the storm whatever storm whatever is coming at you you can overcome it because uh, you have a strong foundation okay as we look at this week you'll be working with is uh, th this week is governed or the energy of the lovers so it's going to be all about love in this week is a situation that is going to be happening it's all about love in this week is a, a situation where it's love for your family love for relationship uh, and that sort of a thing but it's going to be a, a positive one there's going to be conflicts let's see who the conflicts uh, um, 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 let's see uh, who and what the conflicts are and it's going to come up so this is going to be good so you have the four of ones okay victory I don't know people there's going to be there is wow okay okay you have a situation with groups of people you're spiritually protected um organization that is the number five energy okay there are situations happening in your life okay this your week looks very serious the magician keep on coming out in this week for a lot of people ten of pentacles i the magician keep on coming out in this week for a lot of people so let's look and see you have the energy of the universe and the magician over um each other so this is good so you worked out something positive and um let's go in your reading because i'm seeing a lot of things okay um a judgment uh, and this judgment bring good news of victory and success whatever the situation is this judgment bring a good news of victory and success whatever situation is playing this judgment bring good news of victory and success so whatever the situation is playing out it brings uh, good news of victory and success the hierophant the energy vibration of the hierophant is here and you have a success with an organization okay success and victory a good news a wonderful experience with an organization um, this is good news coming in on Tuesday. Tuesday is going to be one of your best, best day because success, the end of a situation and new beginnings are going to be happening for you, uh, Pisces, on Tuesday, the first week of September. This is good. Whenever um, um, the M the air event and the world comes up together this is going to be positive something good is going to happen to you on Tuesday and this has to do with success winning uh, your business or within your workplace success huge success as we move on we have the energy vibration of the lovers in um, that is crowned in your week and you need to have temperance with the lovers whatever situation that is happening you need to have temperance and balance with the lovers okay there are situation that is happening and you need to have temperance and balance with the situation with the energy of your partner uh, whether in and in, in your personal relationship whether you're married or you're not married and you're having a relationship you need to have balance with this person and the situation that is going on okay as we move further and we move on we have the energy vibration of the king the king of wands and whatever the situation is you are going to have something magically happening because you are going to overwin 
and overpower this king of wands whatever the situation is happening you are going to win and overpower this king of wands whatever situation that is taking place okay as we move further we have conflicts we have conflicts conflicts is happening we have uh, conflicts happening and this conflicts you're going to, uh, is over money your financial is um stability there's conflicts over money and your financial stability so whatever is happening there is a conflicts over money and your financial um, stability and there is a situation that money will be coming to you but there is conflicts with money and this could be with your partner or this could be with other people or with organization okay that's is on Friday on Saturday we have the energy of the chariot so there's a victorious successful over a situation with an organization so a lot of things are playing out you have success over one uh, over your work and your business uh, on Tuesday on Saturday you have a victory a triumph over a situation over what at all an organization okay so this triumph has to do with group of people for some people and some people this triumph have to do with an organization okay whatever that is playing out as we move forward we have the energy vibration of the two of ones there's a new door a new portal that will be opening and you are dreaming of something much better in your life and this is going to be positive and successful okay so whatever you're dreaming for your wishes and dreams are going to be coming true okay um, whatever you're open for your wishes and dreams are going to be coming true so this is going to be good so let's look forward and let's look and see because uh, what this week is saying is that you have a strong foundation no matter what is coming at you you have a strong foundation in this week um, you know have temperance with the lovers because your your partner whether you're married or you're in a relationship your partner is going to need um, a, your support in this week whatever is happening and then we have the moon so you have some enemies around you the moon and the moon energies there is negative energies that is around you so you need to clear your aura and ask your angels and guides to protect you there are a lot of negative energies being um, sent to you a lot of negative energies so this is a sign that you must trust your gut your intuition and your instinct will lead the way through the darkness okay when you choose the symbol of the moon as your guide you know that it is necessary to look beyond the obvious to know the truth of things sometimes people will say one thing and you have a weird feeling that they mean something else other than that you have this power you are being asked to use it now choose another card for a deeper look at what really is going on behind the scenes so let's choose another card to see what is truly going on behind the scenes because um, you need to look deeper in a situation because uh, people will be saying one thing and other people and other things is happening high princess of the hair the high princess of the hair so this is the other card that you choose so whatever is happening the energy of the eye princess of the hair so we're going to see what is the message of the eye princess of the hair but I already know that she is coming in to bring you a message to let you know she says you have drawn the symbol of uh, the vampire high princess of the hair the goddess of uh, rational thought uh, logic thinking reason and using your mind to consider the next right action or a quality encouraged by the vampire high princess of the hair now is the time to think before you act you are blessed with a wondrous mind and imagination your ability to communicate is to enhance when you meet the eye princess of the hair this is the moment to have a reasonable conversation and to make calculus decision 
so whatever is happening in your life and this have uh, to do with um, your relationship you need to think before you act and you need to do the right thing and make sure that you uh, um, you know uh, do not make a decision a rational decision and then um, you're going to look back at it okay divine grace the law of effect divine grace the law of effect so whatever is happening there is a divine grace the law of effect and you need to understand how this works because the divine grace acts the divine for grace okay and whatever you do there's a law of effect if you do one thing another thing is going to happen so whatever we do we need to think about the divine grace one action have a reaction of something else and I want to say thank you for being here thank you for being back and namaste